intro music. It's supposed to spin and it's not spinning. Woo! Derp Company! Okay, guys, so as everyone knows on the forum, I might as well just keep this up because why not? I'm Joho. I'm a captain in Derp Company. Everybody knows this. Everybody on the forum would be watching this. Because you've signed up for the raffle that's been signed up, or not signed up, that's been posted on the forum for about the past week since the 6th. Um, I made this wonderful little picture that is blurry because I'm not going to go through the trouble of adjusting my ever so carefully selected field of view. Okay, so how this works is everyone, all 45 people who have signed up for the raffle on our forum, is going to enter to win one of these. A $15 station cash card from GameStop, which includes the... I don't know the name of it, the Fancy Dancy NS Pistol, whatever it's called. But I did lay an Easter egg in the original post. Um, it said in very, very tiny black text that nobody caught on to that there was more than one card. And because there's more than one card, there's three cards up for grabs today that you guys are going to have a chance to win. I can't find my field of focus because everything is going to be half blurry in the video. Okay, now how this works is I'm going to take my hat. It's black. It's kind of hard to see. I have this wonderful VS pin that I had personal that I had a uh, commission for me and a little Cthulhu pin. Nothing in the hat. Nothing, nothing in the hat. That's going down. Let's see if my lighting is still right and good. That's good. And I'm also going to check to make sure that this, for example, is in focus because I want the names as in focus as possible. Last time they were a little blurry for the Easter raffle. Anyway, I got 45, actually it's like 43, but I'm going to round it off to 45, names to pull out, call out individually, just like I did with the Easter raffle. I have this wonderful little stack that I didn't cut completely evenly, so I'm probably going to get another paper cut. First up in the raffle, we've got Polypeptide. He likes smooth jazz and long walks on the beach while caressing Geo's hair. Oh, right, I'm going to fold them up because I can kind of see in the hat, but I swear to God I'm not cheating. <laughs> so I'm going to fold that up all nice and neat. I think my hand was blocking that. I hope it wasn't. And I have promptly messed up my pile from numbers 1 to 7, son of a bitch. They're all neat and nice and numbered. Number 2 is Magikel. Du bist das Wiener Schnitzel, ja. Oh, ja. Du bist das Wiener Schnitzel. Pancakes in German. Number three is Heithlode. Everybody knows him. He's our glorious leader. It's funny because I drew a bra and tits on it. So we're going to fold Heith up. I'm trying really hard. Actually, this is going to work a lot better in this position so my hand isn't completely blocking the camera. None of you guys know this, but at the moment, I had this, this little studio is set up in a very, very awkward spot, so I get light from my window. It's not working very well. Next up is number four. We got Razod, Rezod, Ray, Rab, Z, 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 Zordon. Your name's Zordon now. There you go. Next up is Valane, number five. Valane, I tried being artistic with the V. It didn't work. It looks more like a Y, so Yelaine is more like a woman's name. But whatever, he's married to chain anyway. There we go, Valane's in there. Next up's Nelcor. He used to lead our Wednesday night ops, but so far is taking a hiatus, which is perfectly fine. We love Nell, we love his ops, and can't wait to have him back when he's got everything in his life straightened out. There we go, Nell. I hope you had a good Valentine's Day, now that it's the 15th. Next we got Geonaut number 7. Geonaut also goes by the name of Geonauti because, well, it's self-explanatory. This might give you a very good hint as to why Geo is called Geonati. Next we have Sleazy D. That's totally a penis, in case anybody couldn't tell. It's, let's just say Sleazy's talented, at least so I've heard from Geo and Melton. Fold Sleazy up. Good luck to him. Next we got Axer. Axer is a really high battle rank. He's been with us a little bit. I don't really know a whole lot about you. I don't even know what your favorite color is. I'm the one who asks those things, so next time I see you, I'm asking what your favorite color is. I've probably asked you before, and I don't remember, because I ask everyone their favorite color. If I don't ask their favorite color, I ask their favorite food, because why not? 
Next up's number 10, LD Tech. He's a very good little staff sergeant of ours. We love LD. He's one of the babies of the outfit. Don't tell him I had said that because I don't know what he can possibly do to me, but just don't tell him because he's totally not going to see this video. Next up, we got Zedian Maximus. He loves dicks. I mean, he's a really great member of ours and loves to make squirty, squirty insemination noises. We have a many talents in Derp Company. He is the only one who specializes in insemination. Next is Come At Me Breh. Not bra, a worst case I probably would have drawn, drawn a bra on him. I don't know a whole lot about you either. I don't remember what your favorite color is. Guess what I'm asking you? Maybe he'll be a dick and say it's clear, in which case that's not a fucking color. Anyway, oh I cursed. Anyway, Bosley1990 comes in at number 13. Bosley did not create a brand of well-known hair products. Shame on him. Next, we got Sierra, I mean, Cramson. Cramson. <laughs> Love you, Cram. He's one of our IT guys. He's really good with the whole 1101001 coding. I don't know. I'm a word person, not a numbers person. I'm really bad at that stuff. Number 15 is Shooty Boob. Shooting Bob is really cool. He's been a really good member to us so far. He's kind, I want to say he's new. But at this point, he's really not new. I just, I need to play with you more. You need to talk more, you son of a bitch. I don't know you that well either. Love you guys. Number 16 is Aonari. Ao is another one of our IT guys. He likes pizza. And if he doesn't, well, he does now because I told you he likes pizza. So obviously he likes pizza. Next is Clint. Clint shooting little love darts, which are totally hearts coming out of a penis. It's not as big as Sleazy's. I'm guessing Sleazy's going to, he's going to hear that from Sleazy, no doubt. Love you, Clint. It's always fun to play with. He's a good laugh. He, Sleazy, Geo, a whole bunch get together a lot, and I don't know, they talk about dicks. What else are you going to talk about with a bunch of other dudes? Number 18 is Death Riser 64 I don't know a damn thing about you, but you like ice cream. Because who doesn't like ice cream? If you don't like ice cream, well, then your name probably suggests you're a necromancer. <sighs> Let's see, I'm running out of breath here. Next up, number 19, is Gay Deer World Takeover. His name was the hardest to fit on these stupid little clips of paper that I made. I didn't, sit, I didn't anticipate people's names would be as long as they are. Gay Deer's not gay, I just thought because of his name, I would put the two little gay symbols. I mean, why not? Next is Odalita. A lot of people know her as Dare. And I guess you could say, you know, don't dare call her Odalita, but I, I don't know. I'm very used to calling her that, so it's just an, it's still a standing habit of mine. She goes in the hat. Next, number 21, we have Eklinar, because you have two A's and I just added a lot more. Eklinar at number 21, good luck Eklinar. Too bad I can't give chocolate ice cream as... Little, oh my god, I forgot the word for it. When you go into a competition and you don't win, but you get a little prize anyway. I completely forgot, I'm blanking on the word for that. I know it starts with a C. Next is Inhuman Frog at number 22, now with 75% more frog. Into the hat. And number 23 is going to be Manus 08, now with 75% more man. Manus likes to go with Blobenstein and Nihilistic Clown and hunt down our outfit leader. When we're in ops, they will go to uh, TR or NC. There's a video of it in our... Um, actually, I believe that's on Manus's YouTube profile, but... <clears throat> excuse me. He has a video of such events, of him actually going through our ops as an enemy faction. Whatever faction does not belong to be there and try to hunt us all down. Number 24 is Alpharius Omegon. He's got a little fishy because he goes by the name of Fish Grenade in a lot of other cases. He likes fish. Probably likes long walks on the beach looking for fish, but I don't know what people do in Canada, so I can't say. Number 25 is Geronine. I also don't know a whole lot about you, but I'm guessing your favorite number is 9. Either that or I'm horribly pronouncing it and it's really Geronine. 
Number 26 is symbiosis has nothing to do with photosynthesis, which is what it always reminds me of because of all the whys. Good luck, Sim. Put you in the hat. See here, got a lot of names going so far, but we're only about halfway done. And I am running out of breath. So next is number 27, Sir Groot. Groot is very, very energetic. He likes to run around in his harasser, blow things up, and make sweet love to Nihilist. Number 28 is Innie. Because we have someone that I just mentioned, Nye. I can't call him Nye, even though I think his name is Nihilist. But your name is Innie. I don't know whether he's an Innie or an Audi, but I'm guessing, you know, guys are probably Audis unless they're looking for kids. Anyway, number 29 is not Tax Me, it's Tax You. Tax is a quiet one. I don't know your favorite color either. Guess what I'm asking you? I'm asking a lot of people what their favorite colors are next. I see them. Next up, number 30. We're almost done. DJ LL1. Every time I see your name, I think of Dill Pickles. Because the J, the J looks like an I to me, so I think it's Dill. Dill Pickles. Hey, pickles are good, no matter what height says. Number 31 is Blind Bill. I very... I am not a good artist. I tried to draw a scythe for you. That's not a scythe. It looks like some kind of crazy flying space lobster. Luckily, though, you're not blind, so you're able to look at it and probably laugh. Hopefully laugh. Or just shake your head and think, oh, Joe. Ugh, you can't draw. Number 32 is Scorpomancer. Look, he's got a little box of chocolates. I'm really hoping the time on my camera blinking like that does not mean the battery is about to die. But hopefully I can get this done before that happens. So 32 is Scorpomancer. He's been with us since as long as Derp's been around. I wish him the best of luck. He's a very good friend. Number 33 is Melton Man. He likes alcohol, so I gave him a little martini. Sexy man pose! He didn't get a penis on his because Bel Melt doesn't need to gloat. Ooh, take that sleazy. Anyway, number 34 is one of our newest guys, Blue Dragoon 212 I keep misreading your name as Dragon, so if I call you that, kick me. And you lied, you son of a bitch. You said your favorite color was red, but your name says otherwise. Number 35 is Soviet Tiger. He likes Russia. I wonder what kind of food Russia has. I wonder what his favorite food is. I wonder if it's Russian. Anyway, next is Clurus at number 36. I tried drawing a very, 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 very retarded and crude walrus. That just looks like a very obese tusked man. So there's Clurus. And number 37, Sir Wazzle. That's S I kind of messed up. Every time I see your name, I think Sir Weasel, but he is not a weasel, he is our dearest Wazzle. Number 38 is our beloved D-Lights. Look at the size of that D. Everybody wants the D. Look at that, I got a little boat for you. Little tiny boat, because that's what you live on. A boat. Anyway, <clears throat> number 39 is kamikaze cows. If anyone is familiar with the Japanese naval flag, that's what I tried to make it look like. I think it's cute. It may just look really stupid. Kamikaze cows. Likes the letter K. Next up at number 40 is Helsinki. Helsinki. He's another one of our new guys. I like to call him Slinky, and the first time I met him, I actually just blurted out, your name is Slinky now. So best of luck to you, dearest Slinky. Next, everybody knows him, everybody loves him. Zablubin Stubin! Spock party, Spock party. So I hope everybody's got their party pants and their party boots, rubber boots and party pants. Because Blob is in the hat. Number 42 is Caltrecum. I don't know if he likes Star Trek because he's got Trek in his name. I also don't know a whole lot about you. Guess what questions you're being asked? And finally, number 43, the last entry. Ah, oh, I need a breath. <laughs> number 43 is Chain. Chain is the lover of Elaine, who you saw earlier is number, I think, two or three. No, I think Hype was three, so number two. They love each other very much. 
and waifus. Okay, guys. Oh my god, my knee that I've been leaning on hurts like hell. So, who will win one of three station cash cards? Oh, and just, just to show, because I like doing this, like, okay, here's one. It's not scratched. Here's two. It's not scratched. And three. It's not... Where's my field of focus? It's not scratched either. Ha! Huh. Okay, guys, now we got everyone's name in the hat. I'm going to mix that around a good bit. Hopefully keep kind of on the field of focus. Some are getting stuck in these little cracks here. There we go. Now it's all nice and piley. There we go. Number three. Who wins their first station cash card is... Blubin Stubin. The spot party, yeah. Bloob is winning a 100% all-American paid. I am going from German to, like, Hindu here. Okay, anyway, he wins this. Yay, Bloob. You don't win anything else other than a lifetime supply of oxygen. Put your name. I, I, okay, over there. <laughs> now, this summer, who will win the second out of three? Get back in there. The second out of three station cash cards. Number two is Ayanari at number 16. You win. Station cash! Where's my camera? There we go. I'm forgetting how low I have to put things close to the table for the camera to see them. So that goes to a and -E as our number two winner. Good job, guys. Now, for the last and final station cash card. Get back in there. Number three. One, whatever number I am at, is going to be... Magical! Congratulations, you SC winning son of a bitch! Magi has a good record of winning a lot of our contests. Last event we had, we had a uh, no HUD challenge, which is where everyone uh, turns their HUD off, save for their guns, they still have their guns, of course, and we plop them, we airdrop them somewhere in the middle of nowhere, very far from the warp gate. We do everything we can to disorient them. And then we drop them, where's the bloobs thing? Then we drop them, and we make them walk back to the warp gate. They can't pull vehicles, they can't fire, they can't tell who's friendly and who's foe. Magi actually, alive, through Indar, got back to the warp gate in one piece. Some other people were able to do it. It was just, we didn't expect anybody to actually survive that. So everyone can hate on Magi for winning. Okay, guys, congratulations again to Blob. Let's say show that a little bit. To Blob, Ayanari, and Magi for winning this year's Derp Company Valentine's Day raffle. The very first Valentine's Day raffle, 2014, and our second ever raffle. Good job, guys. Congratulations.